Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Chris and today we're gonna give you a glimpse inside my second video from the Video Woodworkers event in Skyatook, Oklahoma. I got to meet some really down to earth people, some amazing folks came by the booth and I met some pretty big name YouTubers as well. All that detailed coming up. Thanks for joining me and let's take a look. Hey, what's up y'all? You see that table saw down there? He doesn't know I'm gonna use it. Well, some of you guys might recognize that crosscut sled. Man, is it a dream to work with. Nick, thank you so much for letting me use it. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it, buddy. I honestly could not have done this project without that crosscut sled and without his table saw. Again, Nick, thank you very much. You might recognize this pattern if you're a fan of the channel. It's a brick pattern overlaying on top of a piece of plywood. I've done this before, of course, on a dining table, on a bar, but I'm at a woodworking event and I'm not about to do something outside of my wheelhouse because I only have a certain amount of time to get this done. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna chamfer each of these edges and it gives a little bit more of a reveal, giving you that pattern of the bricks. Man, it's looking good so far. Once I finish sanding all the pieces, I go ahead and arrange them on the table, tacking them down with some glue and brads. The whole table's now completed and I'm trimming off the edges with a straight edge guide on all four sides, just like that. At this point, I'm making my way to the bandsaw, taking some two by fours and I've glued them together and I'm gonna cut a taper. These are gonna be the legs on the table. Simply cut one taper, blue tape the piece back that you just cut, cut the other taper and you're good to go. At this point, I clamp each leg down to my fancy workbench here. I do some sanding to get rid of those bandsaw marks and to break all the edges, giving these legs a nice smooth appearance. Not too bad for dimensional lumber, I might say. Now, I go ahead and take a Craig jig and apply it to the pieces that are gonna be installed vertically underneath the table. Simply make a pocket hole on each of these pieces and now it's time for some installation. I just wanna say that this event was an absolute blast to do. This is so cool. While you're building something, people are interested, they're coming around, they're talking to you. It, it's great. I met a lot of great people and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who stopped by. As you can see, I'm back over to Nick's booth using his table saw again. Nick, I can't thank you enough. This was a lifesaver. And what I'm doing here is I'm making the 45 degree angle pieces that are gonna be the supports that the lag screws are gonna go into to hold these legs in place on the bottom of this coffee table. So I really can't take this table back with me to Florida. I don't believe it's gonna fit back on the plane. So we decided to go ahead and raffle this table off. So we set up a raffle, essentially $1 for one ticket and you're entered to win the table at the end of the event. We got a great response from this. Over 150 tickets were sold and I thank every one of you that came by and showed genuine interest in this. Really, it meant the world to me. Thank you guys so much. Now, of course, I've done this technique on some other videos before, but if the technique works, don't mess with it. This is a great tried and true technique to attach legs to any table. As you can see here, the lag screw goes in thusly. Screw it in tight, really strong joint. All right, now to apply the finishing touches. I go ahead and hand rub some walnut Danish roll on there, but I realize it's not quite penetrating into those brick chamfers that I like. So a foam brush is doing this much better, giving me a little bit better result. So while the Danish oil was drying, I put a coat of white paint on the legs, came back after that and put some white bomb poly on the top of the table. Now this table is being given away in about three hours and this polyurethane is not curing fast enough. So my next door neighbor in the event, Ashley from Spoonie Creations, you ought to check her channel out. She does pretty amazing spray paint art. She had a can of clear coat that I was able to use. This going over top actually dried within about an hour. Thank you, Ashley. Couldn't have done it without you. At this point, the table is essentially finished I'm taking the Scotch-Brite pad and going over that top clear coat just to kind of soften it all up, getting it ready to give away. Again, thank you to everyone who came by and participated in the event. Really talking with you guys was great. I really had a great time. And what can I say? It was also great to meet you, Nick Ferry. Thank you so much for putting this event on. Jay Bates, great to meet you as well. Mike from Modern Builds. And of course, Jimmy DeResta, fantastic to meet you all. I had a blast. Hey guys, sorry for the sunlight, but this event was absolutely great. The table has been finished. We got a great response for the raffle. Can't wait to see who wins it. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this one. This was fantastic. I can't wait to do these kind of events again. And we'll see well, you Well, hey guys, time. thank you so much for joining me for this one. The first woodworking event I've ever done in the books. I wanna thank so many people. I wanna thank Nick Ferry for putting this thing on. Ted Alexander for the local guy getting all the logistics together. Thank you so much, guys. The big name guys that came out and advertised, Jimmy DeResta, Mike Montgomery, Jay Bates, Sean Stone, Nick Ferry, all you guys, awesome. And I think every single one of y'all signed this hat. I'm still wearing it, I probably shouldn't. I probably should put it away somewhere, but hey, why not? Live and learn, right? Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys. This trip was so special to me, and let me share why. A month before the trip, 
I called my dad and I said, hey, listen, I'm going to be leaving town for about four days. I'm going to Oklahoma for a woodworking show. Just kind of letting him know that it was going to be happening. And he said, you know, hold on, son. Let me, let me look at my calendar for a second. I might be able to free up some time. You mind if I go with you? And I, <laughs> I was floored. I said, absolutely. It turns out that he did. All right. So we got to spend four days immersed in this world. And in fact, you know, in terms of building things, that guy, my dad, probably the best builder on the planet. I've seen this guy make houses from chainsaws and hammers and nails out in the middle of the country. It's pretty insane. But I want to thank him for his time, his generosity, and just showing the interest in what I'm doing. And for us to spend four days together, you know, not to say that we needed to do this, but, you know, we had time together to reminisce and talk and just hang out father and son. And it was awesome. So, Dad, thank you so much for that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry to get a little sappy right there for a second. I just wanted to pay tribute to my hero in my life, and I really thank him for it. So there's some other videos over here you might want to check out if you like what we're doing. I always invite you to subscribe. My name is Chris, and this has been A Glimpse Inside, and we will see you on the next project. Thanks.